had a fantastic new year. I hope 2014 is uh, treating you splendidly. I have no complaints so far. Um, I'm holding a candle, if you haven't noticed. And the reason I'm holding a candle is because it's really cold in my house. And it smells really nice. It's vanilla flavor. Blah, blah, flavored. <laughs> I'm not gonna eat this shit. Um, it's vanilla scented and it smells amazing. And I just like holding it because it, yeah, it's warm and it smells nice. But anyway, so I wasn't actually sure what to talk about today because uh, apparently I've been out of touch when, when it comes to you know current events and stuff. So I googled world news and I came up with um, a really um, horrifying story, a really sad story about a uh, Venezuelan, um, well, Miss, a former Miss Venezuela and um, her ex-husband were murdered in a botched attempt at robbery. And the story pretty much goes that um, she, uh, she was robbed five times before and her friends and family were urging her to move out of Venezuela, um, but she uh, resisted and she just stayed there and now, I guess, uh, she, she paid the price. But um, and it kind of just made me think of, uh, you know, Latin America and the dangers um, uh, in in Latin America. Um, I know I've been to uh, Honduras and I've been to Ecuador. Ecuador is not as bad as Honduras. It still has its, you know, dangers, obviously. But um, it's not as bad when it comes to, you know, danger and um, worrying about your life. Um, and you know what, I, I, I find it really sad that that's the case in a lot of those countries because a lot of those countries are absolutely gorgeous. And I find that most people, when it comes to, you know, looking to travel to those Latin American countries, they, they don't because um, they're just, it, I mean, they're worried that something bad will happen. Um, but the, the case is that most most um, citizens in those countries are just splendid people. They're they're so nice, and um, it's a shame that um, a lot of those countries are branded the way they are. They they are wonderful countries, gorgeous landscapes, gorgeous cities, gorgeous people. I mean, it's really a shame that um, that that's the case in a lot of those countries. That that they're dangerous like that. There's a lot of it has to do with you know drug cartels and drug cartels, cartels, I can't pronounce, drug cartels, um, and, uh, you know, corrupt governments and stuff like that, so, I mean, you can't really help it, but it's just a shame, and, and I really wish that eventually one day those countries could, you know, not be branded, uh, dangerous, and, you know, we'll welcome more tourism. The couple, or the ex-couple, I guess, because it was her and her ex-husband, did have a daughter. She survived. She just uh, got wounded, but she's still alive, which is which is good. I hate when kids die. I hate it so much. I mean, anybody dying is horrible, too, but kids and dogs, I find, are the worst. So, for 60 Second News Off, I'm gradually uh, blowing up these candles with my nose as I'm laughing, but for 60 Second News Off, I just want to talk about the People's Choice Awards because they happened yesterday, no, today's Friday, they happened on Wednesday. I think the moment that stuck out for me the most was Jennifer Hudson and um, when she was nominated or when she won a favorite humanitarian and I really think that it shouldn't, we shouldn't categorize it as favorite because any humanitarian is, you know, works works hard and should, should deserve recognition so by just um, recognizing Jennifer Hudson, I'm sure there's so many other celebrities that uh, deserve that award, but um, what she said really um, struck me. Um, it's one thing to be a celebrity, but it means nothing if you don't uh, help someone or make a difference. Um, and I think that's very, very um, important. And I, did, I do wish that most... I, well, all celebrities thought that way because, you know, you have money and you have fame. Use it for the better. Use it to do good in the world. Yeah. And I'm sure there's no celebrities watching this, but <laughs> and just in case you guys become celebrities one day, take that to, take that to heart. <laughs> okay. Bye, guys.